When I was a young kid, I never really cared for Sonic. I enjoyed E-102 in Adventure, but that was it. My brother loved Sonic X and would watch it all the time. All I ever saw was some annoying childish characters with annoying voices fighting an ugly man with a mustache. Until I discovered Shadow. Shadow was the only Sonic character who fought with clear reasons. Why does Sonic save the world? Because he's got a heart of gold. Where did this heart of gold come from? I don't know. Why did Shadow try to destroy the world? Because he thought it would make Maria happy. Shadow, promise me. Yes, Maria. You will be avenged. Why does Shadow save the world? Because he thought it would make Maria happy. Those people need you, Shadow. Why does he care about Maria? Because she was the only person around on the Ark that wasn't constantly busy with research. Why is Shadow so angry? Because his only friend, Maria, died in front of his eyes. Maria was my only friend, but your rulers sent soldiers to take her away from me. Maria wasn't a threat to anyone. All she wanted was to visit your planet, but she never had the chance. I never saw poor Maria again. Now that was 50 years ago, but because of his state of suspended animation, it was basically last night for Shadow. Seeing Shadow sacrifice his life to save the world for Maria was very satisfying for me. It gave me a reason to care about the world of Sonic. There were episodes of Sonic X where Shadow lost his memory and thus couldn't fight for Maria. I don't understand how those strangers knew my name. They acted like they'd met me somewhere before. As a kid, I'd turn them on to watch Shadow, get bored, then turn it off. As years went on, my family got more Sonic games. Only two where you can play Shadow. Heroes. Which was too hard for me as a kid because of its slippery controls and Team Dark's difficult level design. There was no sign of Maria, so I didn't really care about finishing it anyway. The other game was Shadow the Hedgehog. The intro cutscene was my favorite thing as a kid. I would reenact it over and over, jumping around on the couch like a psycho. When I started the game and saw Maria, that confirmed my suspicion. The events of Sonic X took place just without Chris. Chris wasn't in Sonic Adventure, but adventure events took place in Sonic X. So Shadow's backstory must also take place in both universes, I thought. But the game was still too hard for me to beat as a kid, so I gave up. At some point, I discovered the 06 cutscenes. I didn't watch them all because I was a kid and couldn't find them all. But I saw Mephiles take Shadow's form. I saw Shadow fight Mephiles. If the world chooses to become my enemy, I will fight like I always have. I assumed he was fighting for Maria because that's all I knew of Shadow. And I loved those cutscenes. After some more years, I watched some Archie comics on YouTube. And I loved those too. They confirmed my thoughts that Shadow fought for Maria. And then Shadow stopped appearing in games. And I abandoned the franchise for a while. But when my teenage years approached, something exciting came my way. Forces dropped its first trailer. I was excited to see Shadow again. I got SA2 on Steam and had a whale of a time. I saw the story I loved, but in a new format. Then Forces was released. After I played the game and episode Shadow was announced, I was so excited. I would imagine how Infinite could cast an illusion of Maria to break Shadow apart mentally. I played episode Shadow and was satisfied. Because everything I knew about Shadow told me he fought for Maria. A couple years later, I decided to play Shadow's solo game and it confused me because of the branching paths and poor dubbing. IDW started to release comics, and I watched the Shadow one on YouTube, and I thought it was boring and kind of bad. Then I decided to watch all the cutscenes of all the mainline games, and I decided the timeline basically ends with 06. I became a young adult and discovered Pariah 695. He opened my eyes and ruined the Sonic franchise for me. Shadow drops his promise in his solo game. He might save the world like he promised Maria, but he's not doing it because of her. He's lost his motivation that made him interesting to me. And I went through the five stages of grief. Denial. He hears Maria's voice and that's what motivates him. He must be fighting for Maria. Depression. Shadow gave up on Maria. So I give up on Shadow. Bargaining. Surely that was just a mistake in the solo game. And after that, he fights for Maria in 06. Anger. Shadow sucks now. They shouldn't have ruined him. He should have stayed dead. And finally, acceptance. 
Modern Shadow isn't for me. And I swore off the Sonic franchise. I'm done. Then Sonic Prime was announced. I watched the Sonic X scenes of Adventure 2 and fell back into the franchise. The first Prime trailer hit. All I saw of Shadow was he was fighting Sonic. This made me so mad. Like, are you kidding me? Shadow wouldn't do that. He's a good guy. I'm so sick of this Shadow fight Sonic nonsense. He fought in IDW like twice. They fight in Boom three times. And now he's gonna fight in Prime. Are you kidding me? Then I actually watched Sonic Prime. Shadow was justified to fight Sonic, and my only complaint was that Shadow only appeared for four minutes in the entire first season. I like Prime Shadow, but he still doesn't fight for Maria. Season 2 drops, and I got a full episode of Shadow, and he was used to tell a story. I was satisfied. Which brings us to this year, I went back and read all of the Archie Shadow comics I could find. And I love them. Maria as motivation. Actual storytelling with some kind of development and a complex yet well-rounded personality. But I wanted more Shadow, so I gave IDW a second chance. But Shadow doesn't have any storytelling in IDW outside of Dr. Tinker. And without Maria as motivation, I don't care about just seeing him. IDW Shadow makes me sick. There are people who consider IDW as the best Shadow. But every one of them I've talked also said that Shadow wasn't their favorite character. Shadow is my favorite character. And IDW Shadow does not represent how I see Shadow. So I'm done with ID was. So I'm done with IDW. I'm excited for Prime Season 3. I'm looking forward to Sonic Superstars, but I think Shadow is done being in games, which means so am I. Sonic Movie 3 is on the way, and I'm hopeful they'll do his origin, which will change the entire direction of Shadow's character. And with the character bios on Fast Friends, the future could be bright. But if I'm being honest, I don't think the bios will affect anything. I think they just did that to shut up people like me. Oh yes, sugar, mango, lick a lick a lips. Tell me with your sweet love, steal me with a kiss. Oh yes, sugar, mango, lick a lick a lips. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch.